So I guess he's only taking two damage. He takes half damage. Yeah, on the on the save. Okay. Two acid damage. And uh he finally seems to be physically um damaged and the acid uh, burns part of his face and he turns towards Tarnik and shouts Dwarven Curse. Right back at you. Alright, Babehen. So Babehen, uh, still holding his bow in one hand, draws his short sword and uh, charges towards Sorcho and tries to stab him with it. And he misses. Alright. He swings the sword, but Sor Sorcho counters it with his... Um, with his own weapon. His, uh... Dagger, actually. Um, and Belenor is up. Okay, I move up to... Erg? And I swing with my quarter stuff. And you hit? And I hit. For ten. Ouch. That's a nice whack. whack. You, you hit him where uh, Tarnax acid had burned him. And you like hit that little weak spot. And he hurt that hurts him. Is he still up? Yeah, he's still up. You can add a D six from my bard thing. Because it can be used for attack also, for damage. That's true. His uh, bardic uh, inspiration, inspiration from the, from the bard, bard of uh, yeah, the College uh, of Valor. Actually, I will do that. Alright, right. 15 damage. He's still standing, but that, that, uh, that was quite the hit. That, like, you, that thwack on his head... You could hear that all throughout the room. Okay, so... Why'd you just uh, spend a key? Because I'm going to use Flurry of Blows. Ah. I... I start kicking him like mad. Oh, wrong roll. 19. Does that That's hit? gonna hit, yeah. For 7. Alright. Down? No, but very close. Okay, I'm going again. More kicks. Ten. I don't think that is. You can flurry of blows twice. Flurry of blows means I attack twice. Oh right, right. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, wait. So the ten hits oh. or no? The ten no, does not hit. Ten hits. Oh, All right. I forgot my uh, way of the open How's hand. How's your situation holding up? Way of the open hand, since I hit him with my first flurry of blows. Uh, he has to make a uh, DC 13 check. Okay. See if he's uh, knocked prone. Is that a con? Dex. Dex save? Okay. Alright, he, he keeps his feet. Um, my battery is 28%, so I'm alright. Oh no, he's not knocked prone. No. Too bad. Oh well. You still got a second attack, don't you, though? No, he did both. Oh wait, that's right. The, so he dished nice. out... He dished out 23 damage in that turn, though. So, that's quite a bit. I'm a little sad that Erg uh, still is almost dead. I want to do some fun stuff with darkness. He's not dead yet? Alright. Yeah. Where and... It's only a matter of time at this point. Yep. Where and... So Where and, uh, gets right up in Herb's face and he says, Yeah, you're not the only one that's wanted to take each other down. And he's going to attack with his Raider. Ooh, man. That's gonna miss. 
Can he do anything else? Um, not really. I mean, he can't move anywhere, otherwise he's gonna um, provoke opportunity. All right. Okay. Oren. All right. Oren's going to uh, uh, capitalize on the opening that Beban left for him and move towards Sorcho and fire his crossbow. Alright. Uh, uh, while also using my bonus action to get close enough to, to be close to him. Ah, uh, seven's so gonna miss. Yeah, that's gonna miss. Alright, Sorcho. No. One moment. What's that? Did you say something? I think you might have been talking to someone else. I think you said one moment. Okay. Well, well um... Sorcho is going to... is going to um, reach out and touch um, Babin and cast Inflict Wounds. So he um, makes a melee spell attack against the creature he can reach. So that's going to be his strength mod, right? No, it's going to be his uh, spell casting plus three. So. Uh. I'm guessing that's going to hit. That, that will hit, yes. And he does 3d10 necrotic damage. Gosh. That's probably going to drop him. No, oh, my fellow Ooh. elf friend. He's, Ouch. He's heavily hurt, but he still stands. Alright. So, you see... Oh. Um, Rob, I'm sorry, I, f I forgot to do a roll for Warren's uh, recovery thing. Can I do that real quick? Yeah, go ahead. Um, oh, that was a fail? <laughs> so, you, Oren, specifically, and Vitari, Merit, and Darvin who are all in that area, watch Sorcho reach out, whisper a word, touch Babin, and Babin's face just goes white, and you just see life just kind of suck out of him. Um, Vitari. Cool. So it's Vitari's turn. Um... Are you continuing your, uh, your gust? Yeah, um... You have to move closer to make it effective. I'm just... So, this all requires me con concentration to maintain, but does it mean that I can't take other normal actions? You can only take normal attacks and cast spells that don't require concentration. Yeah, so you can do you so can, I can act cast normally. Other spells yeah. that don't require That's, concentration. Actually. Yes. Yes. Okay. Correct. So did, is the elf incapacitated or is he still uh He's, he's still, still standing. He's still barely. Up. Okay. Um I've got a normal movement. So I've abandoned my Expedious Retreat, so... Um, right. So as long as you move forward at all, he'll have to make another Strength state Saving Throw to stay on his feet. Okay, so yes. I'm going to move up there. That's, that represents my move, and I'm going to keep the gust leveled at him, pushing him, you know, uh, to the left, of course. 
Um, and I'm gonna make okay. sure I'm gonna try to scoop up as much debris as with the blast as I can. I mean, you know, whatever. I'm just I'm just gonna push him with this, the gust of air. And at the same time, I'm gonna send a uh, firebolt uh, a, a, along the the same path right into his side of his big white dragonborn face. All right, go ahead, make the roll, cause he uh, got pushed back 15 feet. Okay. He doesn't go prone or anything for that, right? No, it just pushes him back interesting enough. Mm-hmm. It doesn't specifically say. It just says saving throw or be pushed 15 feet away. So it probably just staggers and pushes you back. Yeah, yeah. he's with. like staggering back. Right. Okay, so I'm going to cast uh, um, Firebolt as mm-hmm. before. Oh, um, we'll say this. Um, it's a ten, but um, did that break break his concentration? The damage he took from the uh... oh, never mind. He didn't take any damage. I'm crazy. Yeah, he didn't take any damage, so that's gonna miss unless yeah. you have inspiration or anything like that. Don't think I do. So that's probably gonna be the end of my turn. Then. Okay. All right. So, Erg is next and he turns toward Belinor who was beaten on him with that quarterstaff and kicks and uh, swings his glaive twice and that's gonna be two plus fives to hit he needs a 16 to hit ouch <laughs> Ouch. Okay. Oh, They're both going to hit. That's yeah, going to hurt. And uh, yeah. you're going to take 2, two ten plus six, plus 6. Two ones, two ones. Oh my god, that's exactly how much life I have. He's a help. Alright, uh, so on his last leg. Erg swings his glaive twice and just cuts Belinor down. A slash across the face and then a slash across the chest brings Belinor to his knees and he falls unconscious. Damn. Alright, Darvin. Oh, actually, um, he incites Rampage in the bandit who takes a melee attack against Bark. That doesn't hit. So. Alright. Darvin. Darvin. Is Darvin still there? I'm I'm back, but I don't think Darvin is. I wasn't aware he, he went away. Darvin. I guess right. uh, Rob's we'll, gonna have to do his turn. We'll just we'll come back to him. We'll he can hold it till I'm done. Yeah, he'll uh, he'll delay his turn. So bark. All right, Good bark, Bark's just gonna do the first swing at Erg, see if it takes him down before changing his attention behind him. But uh. Definitely doing the first swing here against Erd. And he has advantage, so he's gonna roll again. Nice. Alright, that's gonna hit. Does that drop him? Yes, it does. Awesome. So, go ahead, go ahead and describe, and describe how the leader of the half-deads kills the leader of the blood crows. So... Let me double-check something. Yeah, so he has a mace. Um, 
So pulling out his mace, or he already had his mace, you know, swinging. And just as Ur turns around to uh, crush Bellinor, he just kind of leaves himself open and Bark just runs up and with kind of a one smash just slams it against the side of his skull and just crumples him over while he's distracted. Bellinor falls and then Erg falls. And uh, now it is Merit's turn. Actually, he's he still gets a full attack. Yeah, he's, he's going to attack against that uh, side okay. pick over there. Awesome. That's going to hit. Wrecking face. Crit? No, not crit. So did we get a crit? Nope. Alright, what's the damage on that? Six. Okay, so you take both of them down. You do it up, Mark. Mark owning. Oh my Stealing God. the spotlight. NPC. <laughs> NPC stealing the spotlight. You still got to worry <laughs> about Sorcho. Um, yeah. So, uh, Merit, it's your turn. Alright, I'm gonna move in for a shot here, take a shot with my crossbow. Alright, that's gonna miss. Okay, um... Let me see who's gonna be next. Actually, no, that'll uh, that'll end my turn. Okay. Tarnak. I guess Darvin's still not back. Yeah, Darvin, are you there? Chris. Okay. All right. All right. So everyone's good over here. So I'm. Gonna, I just see Sorcho as the last target. Yep. Get that key point so I can dash in quick. Actually, give me a second. Let me make sure that that is uh, available range. Oh yeah, man, that's not even a question. All right, so as I'm dashing over there, I'm just going so fast that um, all sorts of sees is just little blurs of me. Uh, as I'm bobbing and weaving. And I'm taking out my uh, daggers and just right in his face. Does a 15 hit? A 15 is just gonna hit. You pierce through his magical shield of faith and into his white scales. The black scale dragonborn pierces the white scale dragonborn. So I'm doing four. Alright. Is he down yet or not? No. Alright, and then I'm gonna go ahead and try to kick him down. Okay. And that's one that one's not gonna work. Yeah, that's not gonna hit. Alright. Alright. Is that it? Uh yeah, that's gonna end my turn. Okay. Babe hen. Alright, so Babe in wait holding um, Actually I'm gonna spend another action so I can uh wait, never mind. I think I have to do a dodge or I have to do it as a bonus action. But uh, you, uh, spent you your key point. Already did. Yeah, you Yeah, dashed. no, that's what I'm trying to make. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to be able to do it. Okay, we'll move on to Babin. Go yeah, ahead. Go ahead. Uh, so Babin, holding a, like, clutching a, like, a black scar on his chest, is just going to, um, like, shoulder rush, um, Scorcho. Um, it's a shove attack. So it's going to be his strength. Uh, and opposed strength. He's going to make an athletics check. Yeah, it's an athletics check opposed by the targets either strength, athletics, or acrobatics. Okay. Uh, all right. So 14 opposed to... Five. So, uh, so he pushes him it. down. He shoves him down. Becomes He's prone. prone. Okay. Okay. And um, I'm gonna hold it there. Is is uh Darvin back? Darvin. 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 Hmm. I'm guessing it's not a computer issue like he rebooted because it would have kicked him out of chat. Right. Yeah. And maybe he just got. Maybe his uh, newborn baby started crying. 
Well, I didn't want him to miss this, but we'll just do this, and then we can tell him later, or you can watch. So, um, in the midst of the battle, as everyone is crying and fighting, and men are dying, and all of that, um, uh, a sound of a of a horn that plays like gong gong and then um the doors swing open and by the doors i mean these doors mhm mm and out walks um a mind flare uh led by two grimlocks and two trolls all which seem to be his thralls controlled by his mind powers and everyone depending on whether you do or not everyone else kind of freezes and the battle stops and some cling clang stop and everyone turns and looks and cower at the presence and um the mind flare or the mind flare is uh female and you hear in your mind telepathically you hear <clears throat> I am the sister of Kasalithan, and I am here to take one of you. And um, they begin to move towards the center of the chamber, and people kind of cower away, and then they move through the center up to here and but the mind flare points at Sorcho and Sorcho says no no not me anybody but me not me and then um, begins to run but the mind flare points out its staff and Sorcho is frozen and then um, the trolls move forward to collect him and uh, then they turn and begin to leave and you just hear Sorcho screaming the whole way out and the uh, the battle kind of dies down after that um, with all of the Blood Crow leaders dead and uh some drowning devils and half deads begin to hoot, holler, and cheer. All right. We will end the session there. Kind of that, a somber, was, that was kind a of sweet a, combat. Kind of a somber yeah. reminder of who the real enemy is, not the yeah. other gangs, it's them. Yeah. <laughs> um, Rob, real quick, um, when she was coming out, does Tarnak hear anything uh, from her? Like, do, is she audibly like chanting some spell for her thralls or anything like that, or are they just there automatically? They seem to be mentally dominated by. So, the... so not orally dominated. Well, perhaps that was an oral domination that happened years, years ago or days ago or whatever, or whatever it, was. it was. Okay. Can we I'm take? Just... Um... Can we, can we take two seconds and talk about that shield and armor whenever y'all are done talking about the mind flare? Shield and armor? Oh, did did Scorchio take his shield? He had like a magic shield, and Uruk had like magic left. He had a spell shield. Oh, okay. Uh, Uruk, Uruk did has have magic armor. Magic hide armor. Um, and Belinor still dying. So no. <laughs> I was. Just I wasn't going to say anything. Because <laughs> it's going to bleed to death. Um, so... <laughs> well, Warren's next up. Well, except for Bellinor, he's going to make a death saving throw. Yeah, Bellinor, go continuing? ahead and make your... Yeah, okay. well, for now, we'll just finish that out so that we don't leave you dying. 
13. Okay. There That's you go. Save. Good job. Warren's going to roll his... Uh, go ahead. Roll it with a plus one wisdom. Right. Just a d20 plus one. One sec. Here we go. All right. I come back in two hours. All right. Well, there's two hours until the car caravan arrives now. All right. So we'll figure that out at the start of next session. But you're stable. All right. Good. And uh, we'll figure out um, Erg's armor and other rewards at the start of next, next session, session as well. Yay. But as, as far as uh, XP from this session, um, everyone gets... Let's see here. Everyone gets... 300. 300 XP. So we're at 1,200. Yes. Next level is 2,700 XP. And you're at 1,200 and now. So no pressure, Rob, but can we get to level 6 uh, like quickly? Like <laughs> a session? <laughs> I want my teleporting. Gotta earn it. Am I thing not saving? What the hell? Dang, okay. that sucks. I was really hoping she was going to be uh, controlling them verbally. Why did Why did you hope that? Silence. I got the silence what? spell now. Ah, I see. So then uh, she would have just been stuck in that bubble without being able to control them. I see. And then uh, she's got like three or four angry trolls and servants just right there uh, within reach. Would have been beautiful. I think the Mind Flayer could probably handle it, even despite that. Oh, well. Um, so, okay. Well, thanks, guys. And uh, I'll see you That was a nice weeks. session. That was great. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was good stuff. That, that was a wonderful was time, guys. Um, don't know um, where Darwin went, but maybe he'll come back in an hour. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Rob, would you type something in the chat whenever we leave, just so Darvin has a message to come back to in case it takes some more? Yeah, I will. Um, and I just had a question: uh, Are we all well aware of what, well aware of what the uh, mind flayers can do, or they're just unknown to us? They're an unknown, feared thing. Okay, so we have no idea whether they have dark vision or anything. No, but now you know. Now you know that they can communicate telepathically. Through Right. And so, then they have thralls. Yes. All right. And uh, Oren, if you didn't hear, she said that she was the sister of Casa Lethen. Okay. Yep. Um, Which right. also, that's incidentally the one that's supposed to have the key, correct? For the yeah. Flame Genasi? No, that no, is that's the... That's related to his background, I think, isn't it? Yeah, she's yeah. the sister of someone who put me in this jail to begin with. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought um, that earlier when you mentioned the name of the person that has the uh, key, you were tying that into his background. That's, a, that's no, someone Drell. else's background. Yeah, oh, the one with the key is the sister of the drow that um, runs this place, right? Uh, Bellinor, right? Or is no, it's not me. Darwin. Darwin. All right, Darwin. guys. I'll see y'all later. Great time, man. I'll All see right. You. I'll see, see you guys. Later. Good stuff, guys. Y'all have a All good right. night. Have a good one. Later, everybody. Bye. User disconnected from your channel. Bye. -bye. User disconnected from your channel. Bye. Everyone. User disconnected from your channel. User disconnected from your channel. User disconnected from your channel. User disconnected from your channel.